Congressman, you are in Jacksonville, Florida, your home right now. You've got to figure out what to do about tomorrow because it looks as if the House, after the Senate passed the big relief program, it looks like uh, you're going to have a vote tomorrow. The big question is exactly how will you vote? Kevin McCarthy, your leader, wrote a letter to Nancy Pelosi and said, what are the details of this proposal? How will it avoid potential abuses of power? And when, you ex when do you expect this proposal to be made public for the necessary scrutiny and member input that changing 200 years of House precedent would merit? What he's talking about there is a proxy vote. And, you know, perhaps uh, England is actually leading before the United States because yesterday it was announced that the House of Commons, kicking 700 years of tradition to the curb, is going to start meeting to talk about their democracy via Zoom. Is that something we can do? Look, you know, in the military, as a, as a, as a Green Beret, and, and heck, even in the business, you lead from the front. Uh, and I don't understand why Speaker Pelosi has had us out of session for almost a month. I guess she's very comfortable uh, in, in her kitchen in California. But the, the nearly million Floridians I'm representing expect us to get to work. Uh, I am ready to get to work. I, I think it's fine if you have a few cases, if, some, uh, if we have representatives that have underlying conditions and don't want to travel. But at the end of the day, any changes to how the House of Representatives have operated for, for 200 plus years uh, needs to be bipartisan, it needs to be discussed. And, and you know, again, uh, Speaker Pelosi has a history of dropping things on us like she did for the, last, uh, for the last stimulus package the night before with only a few hours to read through, and that's just not acceptable. But I'm ready to get to work. I'm ready to take those votes. Uh, if we can have people in ambulances and our healthcare workers and, and folks in grocery stores and all of those brave Americans that are out there taking risks, I'm ready to take those risks too. Yeah, I think um, the American people, they don't care how the vote is done, if it's Zoom or proxy, which means someone else can vote for you if you can't make it there. They, as long as it's done legally, I think the American That's people right. are just screaming, give this money to the small businesses. Do well, you have they're, a problem? They're, Go ahead. No, I just I can't overstate how desperate uh, things are becoming exactly. for our economy. I mean, the bottom has fallen out. We have to get to work. We have to help them. She's held this boat up for uh, over a week now. Uh, let's get to work. I just can't say it strongly enough. We are ready to go, uh, and and let's go. I really love uh, what Governor DeSantis is doing. He's looking at Florida uh, in a way in which not, okay, it's not one size fits all. So Jacksonville has worked out. How do you, uh, right. how do you um, view what the governor's doing in Florida, where the north it seems okay, Miami's going to be a special circumstance, central might be next, as opposed to Georgia, who's opening up salons and gyms right away? What's your reaction? Well, I think this needs to be a localized approach, like you're saying, Brian. I mean, this needs to be bottoms up. The president is looking to the governors. Uh, there is a role. The governors are looking to local officials, and I think there's a role there. Uh, North Florida is having a very different experience than, say, Miami, which is which has been a hot spot. Wyoming different than downtown uh, Manhattan. And so, at the end of the day, this is about personal responsibility. If you are yep. out jogging on the beach or you're out in a park or you're going to the grocery store, we need to uphold uh, the guidelines. But, you know, also going forward back to the legislation, you know, I do want to see a, a payroll tax holiday uh, and I do want to see liability protections. As we begin opening up, we can't have ambulance chasing trial attorneys starting to sue these businesses because they didn't wipe the counter a certain way. Or, you know, uh, we, we've had cases already where employees get sick and then uh, uh, they start suing their employer. So we're, I want to see those uh, in future legislative packages. And that's why there is no reason we should still be in recess. The American people expect their Congress to work for them. And uh, these are the types of things that we need going forward. All right. Uh, joining us via Skype from Jacksonville, down in Florida, where the beaches are open. Congressman, thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Thank you, guys.